Welcome back to the last of our installments of the Commissioner Tools of the Fantasy Football Toolkit, brought to you by 360sportsnetwork.com. I'm James Dotson, and here we want to look at something that I want to try so badly, but I can't get enough interest in any of my leagues to get this started. This is called the idea of the Mega Flex, or the Super Flex, or Flex-tastic, or whatever you want. It's Flex on Parade. And here's how it works. It is very, very simple. Instead of your normal starting positions, you know, one quarterback, two running back, two wide out, tight end kicker defense, and, you know, one slash. That's a running back wide out or a wide out tight end or any of the above, whatever. The Mega Flex gives you all the freedom in the world to do whatever you want with those skilled positions. You keep your standard scoring just like you normally would. But instead of that 2-2-1 two, two, with the running back wide out tight end, Let's say I'm going to give you six starting positions. They can be any one of those three. So if you wanted, you could have six starting wideouts in a week. You could have six starting running backs. You could, if you wanted, have six starting tight ends. What this does, it doesn't put as much emphasis on you know, what position you're drafting. It's just who is the most valuable, period. Who's going to get me the most points, period, amongst those positions. It just really can shake up a draft strategy if you don't have to start a running back, okay, I won't draft a running back maybe. Or maybe I feel running backs are going to get me more points, so I'm going to go that route uh, more than getting the wideouts. And I guess the reason I like this is, you know, on a football field, you don't have to have a running back on the field. You could go five wide receiver. At the same time, you could go full house backfield. You could have two tight ends and three running backs if you wanted to. It just gives everybody and every team just a little bit of leeway. And it's interesting to see, you know, one team will go all wide receiver. One team will go all running back. One team will split it pretty much evenly. It's just fun to see how the different strategies work out and see which team ends up working out the best. I really enjoy the idea of it. I've just never seen anybody do it. Another thing you can do with the idea of a mega flex is having a quarterback available at one of your flex positions. So um, I wouldn't recommend any more than that because quarterbacks do score the most fantasy points uh, in the current game. But you can have... Again, the option of, I can start two quarterbacks if I want. On bye week, I don't have to. I only have to start one if I want to. But I'm going to go and look at it that way and see, do I want to start one? Do I want to start two? Figure out how you can best manage your team. Because what I like about this, again, you don't have to be analyzing the waiver wire as much to find your backup quarterbacks. You don't have to be analyzing everything as much either in terms of, well, this running back has a good matchup. Maybe I'll pick him up. Don't worry about the running back this week. If no running backs look good to you, start an extra wide receiver. Who am I to, to kid you? Same thing like if you're in a real game. If you're playing a good run defense, you're probably not going to put your normal run package out there. You're probably going to put an extra wide out and go to town with it. So that's just, in my book, a way that actually matches up well with the way the NFL works. And at the same time, makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more intriguing because you could have a team with five running backs in the starting lineup playing a team against five wide receivers in the starting lineup. May the best man win. Well, that wraps up our edition of the Fantasy Football Toolkit, looking at different commissioner tools to help make your league the most memorable, the most exciting, and the one that everybody is just dying to get into year after year. Keep you coming back for more. Keep checking out everything on the Toolkit here at 360sportsnetwork.com. Check us out on Twitter at 3S Network and keep looking at those customizable cheat sheets and everything that we will be giving you throughout the course of the fantasy football season to help make your team be the best it can be. I'm James Dotson here for 3SN. You guys have a pleasant evening and enjoy your Labor Day weekend, which I would like to call the best time of the year for your fantasy draft. Have a good one.